Hey Pokey friends, welcome back to another Heart Gold Nuzlocke with Lone Wolf and Art Edition rules. Like, oh man. Yep, and then this is where Healed in No Time comes in and I'm pressing the A button. Like, come on. Like, thank you, nurse. Now let's pick it up and run on out. Let's go to Mr. Pokemon's house. La 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 la. And now we're stopped by the man. <laughs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. Here's another token for me. Take it. The guy Jake gave me a map card. Yep, okay, thank you. I guess I do need a map. So we'll be lost on the Nuzlocke. Cool. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. Is that alluding to Kanto? Mm. The Poke Gear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Uh, you're polite. Thank you, Mr. Guy Gent. Oh. And then I wish I had the repels, but until then, oh well. But again, we're gonna go with the same rules of battling three Pokemon first, and then running away after. But that's a pretty strong Pidgey. Knock it down my point so much, Pidgey. Four... Three, like, you're doing too much, you gotta stop, you gotta stop, Pidgey. Really? 50% already? Thanks, Pidgey. Try to make him lose the Nuzlocke so early. Mm -mm -mm. Not with Blaze. Ooh, but Blaze got strong from that. Yeah, we're definitely going to be going around a lot of rats. We're using a lot of repel, that's for sure. A lot of repel food is. Okay, that was so weak. Thank you. If I had a Pokeball, I would totally send that out, but oh well. Thank you, Cinderpool. Oh my gosh, Blaze, we're so close, we're so close. I'm not used to naming Pokemon, so it's probably going to be a little while before I actually start calling my Pokemon by their names. So... Come on, Blaze, we be running. We're actually gonna go up. How in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Well, it looks like every other home, let's be real. Hold it right there! Why am I being stopped? When you follow that path up north, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Thank you. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? No, I don't know what those are. Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. Maybe. I have those trees too. Apricorns are really something you could take pokeballs, or you can make pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be because I have something for you. Thank you very much for the apricorn box. Yes. With the apricorn box, you can carry so many apricorns. You'll be a decent apricorn collector. Well, thank you. So I guess I'm gonna get this apricorn. What color is the apricorn? It is green. I think it's really weird how they only use three letters to define the color. Like green and blue. Ooh. Now, now I think this is the third Pokemon, so we're gonna battle it. And then we're not going to battle any more Pokemon, just quick run. Yep, I am pretty happy with uh, level 2 Pidgeys, man, that's for sure. Blaze, you're so low! You're so low in health! But, 
Don't worry, we'll get to level 7. It'll be pretty cool. Level 7, who dees? Blaze. Blaze is level 7. And now we're gonna initiate the runaway rule. Ooh, there's a Caterpie. I thought, you know, this region only had Pidgeys. Pidgeys and Scent Rats. Oh. Ooh, there we go. We got an Antidote. That's good. Trainers. And we're going to go straight into... More grassy areas. Don't worry, Blaze, we're not battling any more birds. I wish you, Blaze had more fire moves so we could, like, burn it up. But anyway. Oh, there's another Apricorn. I never really liked the Apricorn gimmick. It was like, you know, it's like Poffins and other stuff. It's like, yeah, it sort of helps with gameplay, but at the same time doesn't really affect me too much. Ooh, there's two old men talking to one another. You must be Kyle. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Cool, thank you. Going to your medicine cabinet? Yeah, man. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Yep, I'm Team the Mystery Egg. I put it in the key items. Thank you. Gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to uh, research of Pokemon Evolution. Then why didn't he discover Mega Evolution? That is quite a quote from the famous Professor Elm. You're returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Thank you. Blaze was about to pass out and I would cry because the Nuzlocke would be over quickly and one video. One video and tears. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Kyle. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Professor Elm should have waited for Mom. Tears. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Not rare, but... I guess you only get one starter per game, so yeah, it's pretty rare. I see, you must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, uh ah! -uh. You seem to be dependable. How about you like to help me out? Mm -hmm. What kind of task, Professor Oak? What kind of task? See, this is the latest version of the Pokemon. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia, like Wikipedia. I'd like you to have it. And then I received the Pokédex. But can I exchange it like I gave you my Poke gear? I don't like the phone calls, man. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Dex. Forceful much? But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Jealous? I want a TV show. Kyle, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers, just to be on the safe side. Well, pretty cool. Thank you, Professor Oak. So polite, unlike Elm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, now we're gonna go back to Professor Allen. Because he's calling, he's beeping, he wants to reach us. Hello, Kyle? It's a disaster! Uh, it's uh, just terrible! What should I do? It, oh no! Please, get back here now! Well, is the place on fire? Is this really important, Professor Elm? Is this something I really need to do? I thought I was going to get through that patch of grass quickly, but no, oh well. Pidgey! Blaze. Nope, we are running away. We got a Professor Elm needs us. 
honestly, when I think of Professor Elm, I think of West Elm. So I'm like, what do you need, West Elm? Do you need to arrange some furniture? Do you need some advice on where a couch should go? Huh? Huh? That's what you need, Professor Elm? Oh, and then here is Mr. Redhead. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. Well, then why did you get one too? That's a Pokemon that's too good for a whip like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. You're really abrasive, Mr. Redhead. Mm -mm -mm. You got challenged by a Pasta. Well, why is being for someone that's a pass buyer, he's not being nice. He's being so aggressive. Ooh, that's a critical hit, Blaze. Congrats. Critical hit, who dis? Oh. Come on, Blaze, you can beat Totodile. I love Totodile. It was actually my original starter when I played Soul Silver, but Heart Gold, who dis? Fire types. Ruin. So leave in the comments below which starter you would have chose in this Nuzlocke series. If you've wanted Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile, and then why you think the starter that you have chosen would have been the best one. And thank you, Blaze. Oop, Nara, level 8. Level 8, who it is? No fire moves, though, so I'm pretty sad, but whatever. Maybe once we're at level 10, we'll get, like, a... Ember or something. Do you want to know who I am? No, I don't. I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Okay, well, aren't you gonna go? Give that back! That's my Pokemon card. How did I get your Pokemon card? I don't even want it. That's an assumption of character. Oh no! You saw my name! All I know is you're a Pass buyer. A pass buyer. Okay. Now we are going through the route, but not going to the grass because we don't want the grass. Let's see how Cyndaquil feels so far. Blaze really wants to return to the lab, man. And Blaze is picking it up. We're ready for a marathon. Moving so fast, so quick. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Well, there's one right there, so not all of them are missing. Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the scene. Oh my. So you must be the one who did it. No. You failed police school, huh? Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. It was a red-haired boy. Okay, thank you, Lyra. Thank you. Look into the building. Yes, the bully that pushed us. The mean bully. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Um, since he was a pass buyer, I'm going to call him Passive. Or in French, passive. Passive. Yep, so that's what it gets for being a pass buyer, being passive. And passive pass by. Yes, that's his name. I saw his trainer card, so I'm I confirmed it. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. Well, or you can follow me too and be my sidekick. Because we'll probably come into contact with each other a lot. Kyle! I'm glad they understand you are innocent. No, no. It's hard to not be a troublemaker. Thanks, Lyra. Kyle! This is terrible. Oh yes! What was Mr. Oaks, I mean Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Yes, I handed over your egg. Huh? 
Is this an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Induenda. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. Plot twist, it was in Pretty Little Liars. It's A. The egg is A. JK. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokédex? Kyle, is that true? That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Kyle. I knew you were a little different. Thank you. Things are going to be fun. Well, yeah, Professor Oak said I was going to have a fun experience or adventure. Your Pokemon seems to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon Lead Champion. Or not. Okay, don't joke with me, Professor Elm. Like, go back to West Elm and Ranger couches. Because the champion is not at all easy. But you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Kyle, challenging the gyms scattered around will be a long journey, or a difficult adventure, or a fun experience, one of the two. Before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. Yes, I will talk to mom. I'll talk to my madre. So come on, Blaze, let's go talk to mom. So you're leaving on an adventure? Yep. Okay, I'll help too, but what can I do for you? I know, every time you receive prize money, I'll save, <laughs> I'll save some of it for you. No, Mom, you're not stealing my money. It's mine. On a long journey, money's important. Then why take my money? Do you want me to save your money? No. No, I am not... Letting you take my money, Mom. No. We are using those for repels and revives. So now, before we begin the Nuzlocke, we have to learn how to capture Pokemon! So, Lyra is being the kind friend that she is, telling me I'm innocent to how to capture Pokemon. Kyle, you can capture wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me! Follow, follow, follow. Can't touch the grass yet, though I already did. Are they playing jump rope in the grass? Like, why are they jumping? Like, double touch. Just like that! Huh? That was too fast? I'll try again. Come this way. Cool. So while Lyra shows us how to capture Pokemon, I'm gonna restate the Nuzlocke rules. First area or route, like, any new area route, you can only capture the first Pokemon. Once you capture that Pokemon, you have to give it a name. If it's fainted, it's considered dead. I can only capture Pokemon that... Well, Pokemon that have to be traded into Evolve or Off Limits. Their whole families. If my Pokemon does faint, I give one subscriber slash follower a postcard of that fainted Pokemon. And after three wild bottles, I will use a repel to get through that route. And there we go. Now, Lyra throw the Pokeball into, or through the Pokeball for Rattata. -ta. And black. There we go. Like, thank you, Meryl. I love Meryl. It's just cute and adorable and blue. It's my favorite. It's better to lower your target's HP more than I did, or to make it asleep or something, or something, like paralyze, burn. You can try all kinds of things to see what works. I'll give you these, good luck. And now, we can begin the Nuzlocke. Yes, see you, bye Lyra. So with that said, thank you guys for watching this 
intro to the Nuzlocke. If you did like it, please give it a like. If you do like Pokemon content, please subscribe. If you do want to see more of the Nuzlocke series, also check out more within the playlist. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next episode.